Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com, and today we are making spring rolls. We are making California spring rolls. And uh, that's kind of a take on the sushi restaurant favorite, the old California roll with the crab and the avocado. And the first thing, uh, don't be shocked, I'm not using real crab. Have you lost all respect? I'm going to use imitation crab meat, but I'm not just going to use any old cheap fake crab. See, this one's fat-free. Most of them are. But when you flip it over and look on the ingredients, you want to see some real fish extracts in there. See, it's got Alaskan pollock. They're all made of that. But the cheap ones are just all vegetable filler. This has uh, oyster, crab, lobster, salmon, anchovy, a bunch of different extracts from different fishes. So it tastes good. And it's good for you. See, 90 calories for a half cup. That's pretty good. And it's basically just carbo and protein. So 16 grams of carb, 5 grams of protein. You can't beat it. How are you going to beat that? All right, there's our beautiful Haas avocado. Now, first thing you want to do here is just break up the crab a little bit. Okay, that's why I got the flake style. It tears it apart real nice. And uh, that's about enough of that. All right, avocado. To get a perfect even cut, find where the stem was and put your knife right there until it hits the pit. And then just roll the avocado. Don't move the knife. Just roll the avocado right around. Keep the knife against the pit. And how are you going to screw it up like that? You're not. You're going to twist and you're going to have two perfect halves. See that? Then you're going to take the knife and tap it on the pit. Just tap. Turn. comes right out. Unbelievable. Now, don't try to pull the pit off the knife. That's where people slice their finger off. Just give it a little pinch with the other hand and it'll, it'll come right out. Now, what we want here is some nice, thin, lengthwise slices of avocado. So don't cut it in the shell and then try to scoop it out. Scoop each half out with a spoon. And then with your knife, see how perfectly ripe that is? There's nothing that feels as good as slicing a ripe avocado. Well, maybe there's some things. But it feels really good to slice a ripe avocado. See that? It's just beautiful. All right, that's ready. There's our spring roll wrappers, also known as rice paper. Um, they're stiff. They feel like plastic. They're dry. Uh, they're basically, see down there? They're just rice flour, salt, and water. So what you got to do is you got to hydrate these. Okay? So what I use to roll on is a baking mat, a silicone baking mat, a plastic cutting board will work. And you're going to take a bowl of cold water and you're going to dip that firm plasticky kind of translucent rice paper in there. And when it goes from feeling like plastic and then you can kind of bend it and it kind of feels like leather, then you want to stop. Okay. If you overhydrate it, it's too hard to work with. It's going to continue to soak up the water as it sits on the, on the cutting board or on the silicone mat there. So uh, you'll see. It takes a couple to practice. But what you're going to do is you're going to put down some red leaf lettuce. Any kind of lettuce will work. I'm going to put down my crab next. And I'm working on the first third of the wrapper. Okay, so you're not right on the edge. You're not in the middle. I'm going to put some avocado on top of my crab. And you don't want to fill these too much. That's a mistake you make, and then they explode when you wrap them. All right, a little bit of shredded cabbage for some crunch. And then you want to fold it over. Now at this point, I'm not pressing too tight. I'm just folding it just to kind of make sure everything's together. Once I make one fold and I'm kind of in the middle, then I'm going to fold over both edges. Then, once the edges are in, then I can kind of press a little more. And that last inch or two, that's where you kind of make it firm. Now, as this sets for a couple minutes, it will firm up. The outside will dry slightly. And it will uh, become a beautiful, nice, you know, tight package to work with. If you're going to store these, very lightly dampened paper towel will work. And you can refrigerate those for a couple hours. When you're going to serve them, make sure you get a sharp knife so you don't just mash the thing. So nice sharp knife. I always cut them on an angle. Why? Because it looks cool. See? Let me get a close-up here. All right. And it's beautiful. Just like the California sushi roll, I got my crab, which was fake. That's okay. It's very high quality, delicious, just perfectly ripe avocado. I found these little fried peas, these wasabi peas, in the cracker aisle of my grocery store. See that dip, that mystery dip? It's, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you tomorrow. Okay, so that's a wasabi dipping sauce. So stay tuned for that. You're going to want to see that. Very simple, very delicious dip. I use that for pot stickers and things like that. Anyway, check the site, check the blog post, get all the info, and as always, enjoy.